Good evening and welcome to the interim board meeting of the Board of School Directors of the School District of Springfield Township. Uh, we've had an executive session at 6.05 to discuss a student matter. Let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. A reading of the mission statement. The mission of the School District of Springfield Township is to educate and develop all students as learners and citizens who are high achieving, resilient, and responsible in a changing global community. Roll call, Mr. King. Mr. Bedard. Here. Mr. Chapman. Here. Ms. Jordan. Here. Mr. Lapidus. Here. Ms. Nelson. Mr. Rayer. Here. Ms. Sarsfield. Here. Ms. Lipinski. Here. Dr. Teratuski. Here. Announcements. The board at its discretion may videotape all or any portion of the public board meeting subject to the limitations set forth in policy 006.2, broadcasting of meetings. Board meetings will be broadcast on Friday afternoon following the board meeting. Are there any public comments on agenda items? Okay, seeing none. Reports and information, administrative reports, Dr. Hacker. I just have one announcement to make. Tomorrow is, of course, election day. Our students are off. And uh, we're hoping that parents will go out to the polls and vote. Most of the elections are local and regional, including school board elections. So again, we hope there's an excellent turnout. The weather is supposed to be very good. I would urge everyone to exercise their civic duty and to please vote. Thank you. Thank you. New business. Uh, personnel, the Board of School Directors approves the following personnel as presented in the attachment. Certificated personnel, support personnel, temporary personnel, extra pay for extra responsibilities, and conference workshop attendance. Is there a motion? Motion. Um, a second? Second. Okay. Um, any comments or questions? Mr. King? Mr. Bedard. Aye. Mr. Chapman. Aye. Ms. Jordan. Aye. Mr. Lapidus. Aye. Mr. Rayer. Aye. Ms. Sarsfield. Aye. Ms. Lipinski. Aye. Dr. Teratuski. Aye. Number two, professional development. The Board of School Directors approves the professional development service agreement between the Montgomery County Intermediate Unit, MCIU, and Springfield Township School District to deliver seven professional learning sessions to teachers of children with low incidence disabilities during the 2019-2020 school year at no cost to the district. Is there a motion? Motion. And a second? Any comments or questions? <clears throat> Mr. King? Mr. Pedard. Aye. Mr. Chapman. Aye. Ms. Jordan. Aye. Mr. Lapidus. Aye. Mr. Ryan. Aye. Ms. Sarsfield. Aye. Ms. Lipinski. Aye. Dr. Teratuski. Aye. Number three, Unified Champion Schools MOU, Special Olympics. The Board of School Directors approves the Memorandum of Understanding to create a partnership between Special Olympics Pennsylvania, SOPA, and Springfield Township High School for Unified Sports effective for the 2019-2020 school year per the attachment, attachment H. Is there a motion? Motion. And a second? Second. Any comments or questions? Okay. Um, Mr. Cake? Mr. Bedard. Aye. Mr. Chapman. Aye. Ms. Jordan. Aye. Mr. Lapidus. Aye. Mr. Rayer. Aye. Ms. Sarsfield. Aye. Ms. Lipinski. Aye. Dr. Teratuski. Aye. Number four, comprehensive plan. The Board of School Directors approves the comprehensive plan for submission to the Pennsylvania Department of Education. Is there a motion? Motion. And a second. Second. Any comments or questions? Mr. King? Mr. Bedard. Aye. Mr. Chapman. Aye. Ms. Jordan. Aye. Mr. Lapidus. Aye. Ms. Rayer. No, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Rayer. What's that? <laughs> Sir Rayer. <laughs> Ms. Sarsfield. Aye. Ms. Lipinski. Aye. Dr. Teratuski. Aye. Okay. Um, number five, new courses. The Board of School Directors approves the following new courses for grades six to nine in the Social Studies Department beginning September 2020 as recommended by the Academic Affairs Committee. Geography, Early Peoples, Civilizations of the Americas, Ancient Civilizations I, Western Civilization I, Foundations of Democratic Thought, Ancient Civilizations II, Western Civilization II, The Modern Era, and World History, United States History, 
1607 to 1920. Is there a motion? Motion. And a second? Second. Any comments or questions? Mr. Fink? Mr. Bedard. Aye. Mr. Chapman. Aye. Ms. Jordan. Aye. Mr. Lapidus. Aye. Mr. Rayer. Aye. Ms. Sarsfield. Aye. Ms. Sapinski. Aye. Dr. Teratesky. Aye. Number six, new elective courses. The Board of School Directors approves the development of the following new electives at the high school for September 2020 in the Social Studies Department as recommended by the Academic Affairs Committee. Number one, African American Studies. Two, Civics and Government. Is there a motion? motion. And a second? Second. Any comments or questions? Mr. King? Mr. Bedard. Aye. Mr. Chapman. Aye. Ms. Jordan, Aye. Mr. Lapidus, Aye. Mr. Ryer, Aye. Ms. Sarsfield, Aye. Ms. Lipinski, Aye. Dr. Teratesky. Aye. Number seven, Kelly Services. The Board of School Directors approves the updated Exhibit A of the current agreement between Kelly Services, Inc. and the School District of Springfield Township for educational staffing services effective October 28, 2019. Is there a motion? Motion. And a second? second. Okay. <laughs> Any comments or questions? Mr. King? Mr. Bedard. Aye. Mr. Chapman. Aye. Ms. Jordan. Aye. Mr. Lapidus. Aye. Mr. Ryan. Aye. Ms. Sarsfield. Aye. Ms. Lipinski. Aye. Dr. Teratesky. Aye. Number eight, IDEMIA, mobile fingerprinting. The Board of School Directors approves the agreement between IDEMIA and the School District of Springfield Township for mobile fingerprinting services on November 25th and 26th, 2019 for district staff members at a cost of $200. Is there a motion? Motion. And a second? Second. Any comments or questions? I, I just have a question. Is this for all, all of the teachers, or is this for teachers who have to renew? This is for teachers who ha are coming up on the five-year expiration date of having their clearances on file. So those teachers have to renew, and as part of that, they need to get <laughs> fingerprinted. Because we did this in a massive effort five years ago, we have a significant portion of our staff. So we felt it best to bring the fingerprinting in as opposed to relying on people having to go out and do it on their own. Okay. Any other comments or questions? Mr. King? Mr. Bedard. Aye. Mr. Chapman. Aye. Ms. Jordan. Aye. Mr. Lapidus. Aye. Mr. Ryer. Aye. Ms. Salstrom. Aye. Ms. Lipinski. Aye. Dr. Aye. Mr. King, I think you're falling asleep to me. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine, Philadelphia Young Playwrights. The Board of School Directors approves the agreement between Philadelphia Young Playwrights and the School District of Springfield Township for the middle school teachers to participate in the core in-class playwriting program for the 2019-2020 school year for the amount of $4,750. Is there a motion? And a second? Second. Any comments or questions? Mr. King? Mr. Bedard. Aye. Mr. Chapman. Aye. Ms. Jordan. Aye. Mr. Lapidus. Aye. Mr. Ryan. Aye. Ms. Sarsfield. Aye. Ms. Lipinski. Aye. Dr. Teratesky. Aye. It's that time of year again. Rock Salt bid. <laughs> the Board of School Directors approves the contract with Morton Salt for the purchase of Rock Salt for the 2019-2020 school year through the Montgomery County Consortium in the amount of $50.68 per ton. Is there a motion? motion. And a second. Second. Any comments or questions? I actually have a question. Are we committed to a certain amount or no, no. it's whatever we use, that's what we pay for? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. We'll hope for a mild winter. Mm -hmm. Or at least it's <laughs> We enter the amount we expect to use, but when we pick it up, it's going to be paid. Okay. Mr. King? Mr. Bedard? Aye. Mr. Chapman? Aye. Ms. Jordan? Aye. Mr. Lapidus? Aye. Mr. Rayer? Aye. Ms. Sarsfield? Aye. Ms. Lipinski? Aye. Dr. Teratesky? Aye. Number 11, acceptance of donation. The Board of School Directors accepts a donation in the amount of $2,000 made to the School District of Springfield Township by by Shane's kindness. The donation is to be used to afford student participation in school activities when personal finances are a hardship and might prevent their participation. Is there a motion? motion. And 
a second. Second. Any comments or questions? Mr. Bedard. Aye. Mr. Chapman. Aye. Ms. Jordan. Aye. Mr. Lapidus. Aye. Mr. Reiner. Aye. Ms. Sarsfield. Aye. Ms. Stepinski. Aye. Dr. Teratuski. Revision of uh, number 12, revision Dr. of policy. Oh, aye. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I was watching. Am I putting you this? No, you're not. No, I was watching Dr. Hacker and I was thinking that you might be, might be saying something. So, sorry, I okay. <laughs> Number 12, revision of policy 348, unlawful harassment, first reading. The Board of School Directors approves the first reading of revisions to policy 348, unlawful harassment, attachment I. Is there a motion? Motion. And a second? Second. Any comments or questions? Yes, I just wanted to make a comment that I'm appreciative to several of our administrators as well as a group of teachers who worked with us on the modifications to this policy. Uh, the intent was to try to expand it, being mindful of our district work in the area of equity and understanding that sometimes when co courageous conversations are held, people will inadvertently say or do things that might be offensive to others. So we felt it was important to expand this policy in order to take into consideration that sometimes things that do not necessarily rise to the level of harassment can nonetheless be considered offensive, such as jokes, uh, uh, certain sayings and slogans and so forth. So our intent was to try to expand these definitions and to include misconduct as well as harassment and just make sure that our staff as well as our students understand that as a district, we are trying to aim towards appropriate thoughts, appropriate language, and appropriate actions within the district. Hence the revisions in this particular policy. And again, I want to thank the teachers who worked on this along with me. There was a significant amount of research that was done, not only in other school district policies, but even better in college and university policies as well that helped us to craft the language in the policy. Any other comments or questions? I have, a, I have one question. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a little bit of a specific um, language. Mm -hmm. uh, under step four, district action, under review, sub bullets, number yes. five. I don't really understand what number five means. Provide accountability and awareness for the individuals accused. So I think that the intent of this is that when people in particular um, say things and do not recognize the offensiveness of the statement they are making, the intent is to provide them with such awareness, to provide an educational opportunity so that the individual recognizes why that particular statement or action might be considered to be offensive to others. One of the issues that we have encountered in all of our work on cultural proficiency and sensitivity is that sometimes because of your own background as an individual, you don't always recognize what may be offensive to others. So awareness is important and accountability is also the hope that we can urge the individual to take responsibility even though they may not have been aware of why that action was offensive and whether it's an apology or whatever to take accountability for what happened. Um, I would suggest that I, you know, forget about their interpretation up here. I, I thought it was confusing, so I think that makes a lot of sense, but you might want to think the rewording. And then the only other thing I noted in the policy, it felt like it left the compliance officer, which is the director of HR, is there's no way to deal with it if that is the person who's been accused of the, the issue. So it might reference like that, then it goes to the superintendent. But I noticed that it seemed like a flaw to me. Okay, we can definitely put that in. That's an excellent point. Thank you, Ben. Is the compliance officer the officer? It actually the is okay. Dr. Johnston. Okay. And so if she were the one to be accused, I'd have to take swift and immediate action. Right. Okay. Any other comments or questions? Mm -hmm. Under step three of the investigative report process, once the compliance officer is made aware, what happens after the 15 days? Is there a time period from after the 15 days that the final action is taken, or is it more time? Like, it's just 
It would have to depend on the particular case, but it does say a recommended disposition of the complaint would follow at the end of the 15. 15 is the parameter during which the time, the, the whole idea of the 15 days is so that the investigation doesn't extend on and on and on without right. a conclusion. Okay. Obviously, if more information were needed, it might have to take longer, but the idea is to try to keep it within a relatively brief time frame so that people understand that action is being taken immediately. Any other comments or questions? Mr. King? Mr. Bedard. Aye. Mr. Chapman. Aye. Ms. Jordan. Aye. Mr. Lapidus. Aye. Mr. Rayer. Aye. Ms. Sarsfield. Aye. Ms. Slipinski. Aye. Dr. Terry Kessler. Aye. I just have a question with regard to the fact that this is a first reading. So this will go on tonight, and then we will vote again. There will be uh, modifications if needed, and then we'll vote again. Vote again at the, the next, next board meeting. Okay. Correct. Are there any public comments on non-agenda items? No? Okay. Seeing none, um, future meeting dates. There is a school board meeting on Tuesday, November 19th, 2019 at 7 p.m. in the Freeze Memorial Lobby. The reorganization and school board meeting is on Tuesday, December 3rd, 2019 at 7 p.m. here in the Freeze Memorial Lobby. And there are two board committee meetings coming up. Um, Property Committee on Friday, November 8th at 2019 at 8.15 at the Administration Building and Finance Committee Monday, November 18th, 2019 at 5 p.m. in the Administration Building. Okay, we're adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.